What is up guys, today I want to talk a little bit about the process of when I got my Mazda Speed 3. I got it a little over a year ago now, and when I bought it, I did not know that it was going through oil like absolutely crazy. I was going through about half a quart in like 100 miles, um, so it was really, really bad. And so this is just a video to show kind of the process of going through and figuring out all of this on my own for the first time and figuring out how to rebuild the motor and at first I thought I was just gonna have to change the rings and do stuff like that but what it came down to is the cylinders were actually not round anymore um, so later in the video you'll see that I um, I thought everything was looking good but that was before I knew that the cylinders weren't even in round anymore which is really not good basically um, it was running rich enough that it was coating the cylinder walls with fuel so the oil wasn't able to do its job and that's why there's kind of that mirror finish on them and that's really not something you want to see and I didn't know that at the time. Okay so right now what all is off is airbox, battery, ECU, turbo inlet, turbo, exhaust manifold, um, top mount intercooler, uh, power steering, pump, serpentine belt, and what is coming off hopefully by the end of this evening, intake manifold and valve cover. Um, there's turbo, exhaust manifold, serpentine belts, all the other stuff mentioned, all right here. Okay, the plan is to have the head off by this evening. Currently, motor mount is off, Timing cover is off, so it's just going to be getting the timing chain off, pulling the camshafts, and then pulling out those head studs, and should be able to lift right off. So I've learned a lot through this whole process, um, and it's been really, really helpful to me just to be able to do all of it pretty much on my own. Um, the only thing I had done externally was I had the block machined, and I, I had the, the lower end assembly done by a machine shop. So. The, the rods and pistons and rings and all that were installed when I when I got it back. But before that point, I didn't realize that I needed to actually do a full build on it. Um, I thought I was just going to be able to get the piston rings switched out, put it all back together with the same bearings and all that, and just call it good. But what it came down to is the cylinders weren't round, so I had to get it machined and bored out, which also meant different rods and pistons. And so begins the rebuild process. Got my head back from Aluminum Head Rebuilders and it looked absolutely awesome, brand new. And about all that costed me just under $500. I ended up going with Manly Rods and Pistons, Manly H-Beam Rods and the Sport Pistons. Later on in the video, you'll see that I just have um, the basically the lower end already done when it comes to me. And then I basically put on oil pump and all that sort of stuff and everything outside of the actual lower end assembly itself, so all the accessories. and then you'll see me getting into the head and putting the head on um, and actually you'll see me um, struggle trying to get one of the little head nuts out of the one of the coolant passages because I, I dropped it I was like I don't want to take the head back off I really don't want to take it off because um, I'm using ARP head studs um, so there's nuts and washers and then studs rather than just a really long bolt which is factory on the Mazda Speed so I just ended up getting a magnet and pulling it out and then using some pliers to grab it and pull it back out and then continue on from there.
Okay guys, so camshafts are in, all torqued down, uh, everything's looking good so far, got assembly lube on them. Um, they seem to both be turning with relative ease, which is good, obviously the spring force, um, but nothing's binding up or grabbing where it shouldn't. Um, and I got my timing plate in, so at this point, I'm about ready to start putting my cam sprockets on, um, my VVT solenoid and actuators, um, and yeah, we're going to actually start timing today, which is really exciting. I'm really happy. What's up guys? So this is where it's going to be left for tonight. Um, timing cover is on. Um, the motor is timed as you saw in the, uh, in the time lapse. The only thing I need to do to finish the timing is put the crank fully in and lock that sucker down. It takes like 95 foot pounds plus another like 90 degrees or 80 degrees or whatever of cranking on it. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that because uh, that's definitely going to be interesting. So this is just priming the oil. One. Would you pull off the oil cap and see if there's any oil coming on, on the chain? Because if there's no oil pressure, you won't see it up there. Ready? Yeah. Okay, this one's it. Did you 